what we're going to do in this video is take Phoebe for a ride on the mechanical Anki machine. Now the thing about this machine is that it's not going to shy a leaf or bucket a deer or um, spin around and tip her off, although we have had some people fall off <laughs> of this. Uh, it's very mechanical. It's a rock and roll, ball bearing type thing. This is called an Anki, um, if you haven't seen one before. So here we go. Turn the button on. There we go. Oh yeah, and she's off. So what we want to do is demonstrate the function of the horse riding muscles on the machine. So as you can see there, Phoebe's got her core engaged. She's got symmetry through her head on her neck. Um, she's got um, independent isolation of her pelvis from her trunk because as her pelvis is moving around, her body's not following. She's got her hamstrings, her adductors engaged. She's got some stirrups, so just take your feet out of the stirrups. Now she's got no stirrups, so the tibant muscle is coming in, and she's got that triple flexion. So we've got all of these muscles that we discussed in the last video all starting to be active. Now, let your core go. Let your hamstrings go. And you can see, you know, if this was a horse, she'd be probably been tipped off now by now because she's wobbling all over the place. She's a bit like a, a, a soft piece of rubber. Bring the core in and immediately, I mean Phoebe's done a fair bit of work, she has a pattern that comes in. Let the core go again. It's the sloth aid and you'll hear about this. When you let the core go, the body follows. Now bring the core in and stomach muscles and you can see she elongates up, she actually brings her hands into that nice self-carriage. <laughs> well done, one we prepared earlier. Now let your hamstrings go and you can see she loses it all again. Because without the stability of the hamstring to hold that lower leg position, not pushing against the horse but to stabilise, the body can't stabilise on its own with the core. Let the hamstrings go again. And you can see she just gets a wobble up. And this is on a machine that's very mechanical. Excuse the pun, but it, it's not going to do anything different. So you can learn how to use it. Bring the core back in. Uh, bring the hamstrings back in. Now, just lean back a little bit, but keep your lower leg there. And you can probably can't see it, but her core is really working hard. Now, and her stomach muscles have taken her back, so it's back bending. We do this exercise in the program, now let your hamstrings go. Well, now she probably, the horse would get a gob in the mouth. Okay, put your hamstrings back in, your lower leg back on. Now lean back as far as you can, keeping that there. Now let go of the hamstrings, and she loses it. Okay, so when people say the hamstrings are not an important muscle, they're wrong, okay? Um, now, if we don't engage the hamstrings but we've still got the seat and you bring your lower leg forward, um, people tend to then push through the toes as they, particularly the rise trot, rather than push through the heels at the rise trot. So the mechanical, the action of the rise trot comes through from not only the quads but also maintaining the hamstrings so that the lower leg doesn't swing when you put weight on it. Just put your hands above your head. Now I want you to tilt your pelvis backwards. That's it. Now forwards. It's a bit hard on the machine. Now backwards again. Now forwards. Okay, it's not working real well, is it, like that? Lean your body backwards. Now bring your body forward. Okay, and lean your body backwards. So a lot of stomach muscle work there. Again, that's, you know, it's a mechanical machine. We can't change it. We can't, well, we can. We can ramp it up a little bit <laughs> and get you back off. So that's just a quick demonstration of um, how the horse riding muscles function on a machine, which is not exactly the same as in the saddle, but it's a good little demonstration. So I hope that's been useful. Learn what you can out of the manual and um, as we proceed through the program, uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. So I'll see you in the next video.